Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering unboxing. So today I'm going to be looking at the first of the Gate Crash intro packs. There's five in total and over the course of a week I'm going to be um, unboxing each of them. And I'm just going to start off and do them alphabetically. So this is the first one. This is uh, Boros Battalion. So it's a red-white deck and in terms of contents of these decks nothing's really changed from the previous set in that you still get your 60 card deck um, one of which is a full premium in this case foundry champion and you also get two sealed 15 card booster packs and and the learn to play guy guide and um, a, a little guide on basically how the deck plays so what I'll be doing is the usual thing of obviously cracking those boosters but also looking out for anything in the booster that might be viable to go in this deck both in terms of just uh, its colour and also whether it would be any good in the deck. So let's open this up and have a look at what cards they give you with the, with the actual deck. Okay, so one how to play guide, one strategy guide as they're calling it. So let's have a look at this. It's probably going to be very similar to the return to Ravnica guide, which I've sort of shown you before. And of course, this time in this little guild um, diagram, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's going to be obviously highlighting the, the five, this, these, this five, because the first set dealt with the first five guilds that they, they chose to uh, focus on, and so these five make up the remaining ten. So in this particular set, the focus is on uh, Simic, Boros, Gruel, Orzov, and Dimir. There. And on the flip side. And the, these are these are actually the same for for every deck you get because in each one you actually get all five of the decks listed. So there's not a, like a separate unique um, insert for each deck. So there's our deck list. You can see it's a red white deck, twelve mountains, twelve plains, and a bit of fixing through Boros Gilgate. And so uh, we'll probably have a quick look again at this uh, for the suggested mod uh, alterations for the deck. Let's zoom in a little bit on this so you can see the cards a lot better. Okay. There was something very nice about opening cellophane sealed stuff. So here's our, our foil that we get with this deck, um, Foundry Champion, not surprisingly uh, it's got red and white in it in the casting cost, so it's four red white, it's a rare, that's four four, so with this particular creature, which is an elemental soldier, uh, when it enters the battlefield, it deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of creatures that you control also has extra abilities on it um, you can pay a single red and that will give foundry champion plus one plus zero until end of turn or and or or, or and really um, you can pay one white and give foundry champion plus zero plus one until end of turn now it looks like there's no limitations on on those um, costs so you can, what I would call, stack them, um, or pay more and basically get more. So you could pay two red and get plus two plus zero, or you could pay two white and get plus 
0 plus 2 or you could play a white and a red and that would give you plus 1 plus 1 and so on. Um, I don't know how easy it is to see. Oh there you go. So we foil there and obviously with these cards the foils on the whole card so you know extends to the um, the guild logo as well, this sort of fist raised fist logo. Okay. So let's just move this through. So Boros Elite War Clamp Mastiff. And there's two of those. These cards feel different. That's really there's a bit more of a shiny surface to them. Um, Bomber Core Fire Fist Striker. So I will highlight up any sort of rares that are in here. Um, Daring Sky Jack, I think that's supposed to be. There's two of those. Sunholm Guild Mage. Wojek Halberdiers. And there's two of those, or three even. Armoured Transport. Ember Beast. Warmind Infantry. Two of those. Court Street Denizen, Sky Knight Legionnaire, two of those. So one thing you really notice about intro decks is the variance in the deck. Canyon Minotaur. So variance is one thing to concentrate on if you're trying to improve the deck. So you know there's less variability in the deck. Canyon Minotaur. Fire Main Avenger is a rare. So this is two colourless, a red and a white for a 3-3. Three, three. Creature Angel, has got flying on it. Um, it also has this battalion ability. Actually that's the other thing I should flag up on here is anything that's got battalion on it. Um, so with this, whenever Fire Main Avenger and at least two other creatures attack, Fire Main Avenger deals three damage to target creature or player and you gain three life. Ordrun Veteran um, also has Battalion on it. Now you'll notice with the Battalion ability um, <clears throat> this thing of you know whenever this particular card and at least two other creatures attack the bit that comes after it changes so with the fire main avenger it was um, you know you get uh, it deals three damage to target creature and player and you gain three life with this one it's um, whenever itself and two others creatures attack it gains double strike until end of turn fortress cyclops and there's two of those there's a Boros Gilgate, as I sort of showed you in the insert. So that's going to fix for red and white. And then we get our actual mana base here. So there's 12 mountains. All artwork from Return to Ravnica Land. And you often find that with middle sets, it is the artwork's exactly the same as in, in the first set of the block. And then our planes. And again, same thing. Now, what we should find is underneath all this land will be the remainder of our deck, and these will be all the non creature stuff. So the sorcery is the instance, stuff like that. So we've got mugging in here, one of those. Shielded passage. Aerial Maneuver. These are very slippery. Uh, Boros Key Rune. There's two of those. We have Act of Treason um, in this particular set. Uh, so in, it's in this deck. And this is this card that allows you to gain control of a target creature until end of turn. One of those. Arrows of Justice. Two of those. Righteous Charge, um, a mark for death, 
and that's it. So I'm just going to flick through these quickly because I just want to make sure I got all the, the sort of battalion stuff, seeing as that's the the mechanism in this particular deck. So I'd expect to have more than a couple of those, but you, you don't, you know, you never know. With this, sometimes with a lot of intro decks that have a feature mechanism, they are quite um, selecting in what they end up on, or what they choose as the cards. So let's just split this up. And there's the two that I highlighted. You can see there's several flyers in the deck as well. There's another battalion. So, yeah. Oh, here we go, yeah. So there's a whole load of battalion stuff that I skipped over there. So seeing with these sets, they're very much sort of focused round, um, having almost like a mechanism per um, per guild. Um, let's just focus on this now. So Boris Elite, it's got battalion on it. Um, so with this one, again, it's it's this same opening phrase where it says whenever the card and at least two other creatures attack, and then it says what the battalion ability is. So Boris Elite gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Bomber Core gets uh, to deal one damage to a target creature or player. Fife is Striker. Um, has an ability so that a target creature can't block this turn. Daring Skyjack gains flying until end of turn. Wojek Halberdiers. What does that gain? That gains first strike until end of turn. Warmind Infantry gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. And we've already seen the Fire Main Avenger and the um, Ordrum Veteran as well. So anyway, so it's good to see how those, you know, the flavour in which they, they use whenever they, they use that battalion, how the flavour is altered on the t or, um, in respect of the ability, or the sorry, the ability reflects the the type of card it is, the flavour of the card, the type of creature. So that's a, a an interesting ability. Okay, so we're going to open up the boosters and be looking out for sort of red, white, and colourless cards that will complement our deck. Plus, say any other you know of the uh, cool cards that are. Are available in this particular set. So first up we have a red card, um, tin, tin, Street Mark, tin Street Market which allows us to enchant a land and that enchanted land has tap, discard a card and draw a card. So it gives a land card draw. Cloudfin, Cloudfin Raptor is blue card. Aerial Manoeuvre, so white use that give target creature plus one plus one and, and gain flying and first strike until end of turn spire tracer psychic strike it's blue black bio shift green blue shield passage uh, damage prevention on target creatures act of treason we've already seen we've got that in the deck Riot gear, so this is equipment, two colourless, so it is usable in the deck, whether or not it would be would be good, we need to just look at uh, what it can do. So it will give a creature plus one, plus two, and it costs two to equip. Verdant Haven, in green. We've got a Boros Colours here on the Sunholm Guild Mage. So it's our first uncommon, red and white for a 2-2. Two -two. It's got abilities that um, give actually all creatures you control. Yeah, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. And the other ability is put a one, one red and white soldier creature token with haste onto the battlefield. That's pretty useful. Um, 
ability to uh, reasonably sort of not highly costed bats but of a higher cost so one red and white for the first one and two red and white for the second one righteous charge gives creatures plus two plus two gruel charm that's a red green our rare is biovisionary so we we can't use this in the deck but let's just have a look at it anyway seeing as it's the rare so it's a white green blue for a two three creature human wizard at the beginning of, of the end step if you control four or more creatures named biovisionary you win the game so it's an alternative win card planes and just an advert card for planeswalker points and oh it's also highlights one of the the main protagonists in the, this particular set Aurelia the guild master of the Boros Legion okay so some you know, useful red whites there bit of um, equipment Another act of treason, uh, some utility instance that'll uh, prevent damage or do pumping, and something that'll uh, enchant a land to do card draw, which is not a, an ability you would normally see in red actually. Card draw. Hands of binding, so that's in blue. Massive Raid, red card, so let's have a quick look, uh, one, two red for an instant, Massive Raid deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of creatures you control, so in a creature heavy deck that's going to be useful, uh, Night Watch, Sorcery, uh, that puts two, two, two white knight creature tokens with vigilance onto the battlefield for four and a white, Contaminated Ground, that's in black, it's not something that we could use in this deck. Shattering Blow, one red white instant. We get to exile a target artifact. So when you're using that, you really just have to decide you know, how much artifact removal is relevant for the, the game, metagame I'm playing in or, or the format I'm playing in. Death Cult Rogue, blue black. Sage Row Denizen. There's a denizen cycle in the set, as if anybody's seen the unboxing of the Fat Pat will know. Act, another act of treason. So I think if there's two in the deck and I've got two here, that's going to bring up to the full complement. I, I just can't remember how many <laughs> now was actually in the, in the original deck. Balustrade Spy. Shielded Passage. Damage Prevention. Got one of those already. Uh, Coerce Confession, that's blue black, so we're moving on to our uncommons. Skull Crack, uh, one and a red instant. Players can't gain life this turn. Damage can't be prevented this turn, and Skull Crack deals three damage to target player. So there's a lot of stuff on this single instant. Miming Slime, it's in green. Oh, here we go, we've got a rare here. Um, in the Boros colours. So these use hybrid mana. So if you've not seen hybrid mana before, um, or had it, ex should I say, have it explained, you can basically play either one of the colours that's on the symbol. So it's it's red or white, red or white, red or white. So that can be sort of any combination thereof. So you could play pl play this with three red, or three white, or two reds and a white, or two whites and a red that sort of thing. Uh, Boros Reckoner so it's a creature Minotaur Wizard 3-3 three, three. whenever Boros Reckoner is dealt damage it deals that much damage to target creature or player and for one red or white uh, Boros Reckoner gains first strike until end of turn. Out of Forest and a rat token Okay, so again, just quickly flicking through um, some use, very useful creature in this. So that was a three for a three three, but it's got these extra sort of abilities on it. Um, that reader, one of which redirects um, 
damage, basically. And then use for instance skull crack. So there's a couple of instances there. This uh, act of treason, shattering blow. So we've got a lot of so usable sorceries and instance in this, and uh, one creature. Okay. So that's our our deck and our unboxing or so opening of the boosters. So that was uh, Boros Battalion. Have a quick look at the bottom here. So, so on these again, if you've not seen these, it, in this it just gives you a description of how the deck should play out, and then further down, it gives you suggested changes. So it talks about you know you might be want to be adding larger creatures, so things like Thundermore Hellkite from the core set or Hell Rider from Dark Ascension, which which is still standard legal. They've got haste on them. Um, and you know, again, having creatures that come out immediately like that are going to trigger any battalion abilities immediately as well. Uh, increasing devotion also from a dark ascension will put out creature tokens. So again, you know, the, you're looking. What you're looking for is, you know, really you're looking for stuff that's gonna trigger, inter or interact or do interesting things that work well with that battalion mechanic. So you know, it, it's gonna be creatures, and you need to have sort of two of them out. Um, and if they're coming out quickly, you know, then that's obviously really useful and that's going to make the, the that battalion mechanic much more effective okay so that's the boros battalion deck thanks for watching